I mean, after a two week, it's always weird because it's either we played really good or the enemies played bad. Coming off of a two a weekend, I felt pretty good because that week was pretty important for us. I think it was against Hill and CG. I mean, we're playing with Kumo and Blaber, which um, usually the games are just like more aggressive and faster. I think scrims have been going pretty decently okay. We've been trying to do a lot of swaps in case just to see who's going to be our best players for playoffs. I'm excited. Uh, always playing out is going to be nice. To like trying out new people and seeing what works for us. Yeah, I think Blaber and Kumu will fight a lot and I think it will lead us to victory for sure. But it ain't what it is Facing the mud Y'all really be hating In the mud Said I can't pick it up But I did Y'all know goon Put too much bass in the sub Cup full of blood And I gave it a chug Wait till your neighbors Get all snug Then play this real loud Where you live This that For the kids Some I'm strange Can't say what it is No case came Ain't say what he did Make shit move Put a chain on the gear Yeah I've been on top of the tower Got the power With the man Gun cocked in his pocket Shabba Put you down with the squids That's rock the power I done hang with the guys And we talk for hours Yo They've lost their mind. They're tasting something spicy. Their noses are going crazy. Sneaky cried 52 tears today. Vincent, what the hell did you order? Sneaky's literally going to be crying oh, for all day. Oh, it's Vincent! He's going to start crying too! <laughs> I said that you might be that time. We like, oh, told I'm you I'm what's chilling, happening. I, I like it. I don't know why. It's good. It's good. But it's just the weirdest it's feeling. It's a. Uh... It's got a kick. Yeah. <laughs> and then made me cry. <laughs> but it was good. Humanoid one be done. Cannot hit skill. Humanoid is really smart. What are you humanoid, saying? Humanoid went 12, humanoid. 3, and 7. He's playing an OP champion, bro. Like, you just beat Fnatic, the undefeated team. What have you done? I beat TL, the unbeatable team. That was Kumo, though. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. What are you saying, man? You're welcome. What are you saying? Oh, it's fine. You don't, you don't even have to say thank you, man. It's fine. I don't know. I feel like every team right now is good in LCS. Um, I feel like the, the gap is not even that big, in my opinion. I think playing with Blabber, the game will be a fiesta for sure. Especially with me in the game too. There will be a lot of aggression. Yeah, we're probably going to fight a lot. If we play safe and like we let them scale and stuff, they usually have a lot of scaling picks, so... Heading into the game against Echo Fox, I think top lane will be pretty spicy. I think Solo has been doing pretty well this split, and I would like to see how I match up against him. Hey, gotta go play Echo Fox. I'll see you guys later. Has really surpassed me in his first year of how many times he can dive without even trying to feed. I blame Sneaky. I was supposed to hold the record. I blame Sneaky. He makes me feed. Honestly, if you think about it, that's my dad. So we're really just trying to surpass Sneaky, which is quite the impossible task. No, it's pretty easy. Uh, no, and how many times we can feed. Oh, yeah, yeah that's pretty that's, hard. That's what we're not Yeah, that's pretty hard. See, how many times are you planning on feeding today? Yeah. Twice. Usually twice. Yeah, two or three looking good. Two or three looking good. One is a really good day. That means Sneaky's ready to smurf. What do you feed zero times? Then he's back to world performance, Sneaky. No, Sneaky fed a lot at world. Our quarterfinals, Sneaky. Oh yeah, that was a good performance. Okay.
I have more kills than Nifty and you know Bobby together. You know why? Okay, take a I have 33. I have 23 kills and I have 10. Dude, actually, Kumo has the amount of Wes, Nifty, and Bobby kills. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that was the plan, but it did not work. Oh, it work. it, it did work. not really work oh, like it, that. Alright, let's go. Let's go, yeah. 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 Today game, the one missions you guys have. Don't lose fucking your mind. Jesus! 100% Jesus. real cheese. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so, it's all cheese. And... You guys have a, a clear goals and clear plan to fight. I'm not worried about... Alright, one, two, three! Z9! He's all in, he's gonna attack the, the long cooldowns in the early game. Alright, well, the first attempt here maybe Cloud9 with Blabber in the top side, and Solo was with the early pressure. There's the EQ landing, going to melee range, looking for the slow, he's gonna not flash it. Take the damage here, flashes back for the knock -in. and this is going to be Solo going down. First blood comes through to Blabber. He is gonna be feeling pretty good, grabbing uh, the additional AP there, but Niski now maybe in some trouble, has no alt. Has to try to run away from this one, half HP there, Phoenix still on the chase down, he's gonna land a couple of rockets, red buff for the slow, Ignite is on, Niski gonna oh. get him, Lord to deal some damage, Phoenix finally gets it, and that was actually pretty small moment. Margin is now Blabber is there and certainly has the damage up, but buff transfer complete. Turn all in now on the bot side. Thankfully, Arcane Shift is looking against both those skills that go in a line and never redirect, so when they finally get on, you go the other way around. Now Mike Young getting pushed up to his own jungle, and that's gonna find the stun probe over the top. Look at the burst damage preyed upon in his own territory. <laughs> Mike Young goes down. That was a ghosted proto belt by her. Now fighting the top side of the wall comes driving yet again. Solo, his health bar is just that. And the duck comes across, a good flash. Trying to run away, the slow from the ultimate flying a little bit of space, but no. At the very end of it all, Dragon Strike comes in and the kill goes over to Blabber. Yeah. Originally, we were taking top control of top side to get their tier one turret. But now it's time for Zayz will be caught out. This looks but then they decided to go for the gank on top, and since I don't have mobility, I was still in their jungle, holding vision. Caught out, this Lux trying to run for a dear life, no summoners, and Mike Young! Finally on the board. Yumi landed a Q on me, and pretty much after that, I was dead. Box though, looking at this. A couple of rockets from Phoenix. He feels safe as well. We took a fight in mid, and ended up with just us killing one of them, but we were quite chunked, so we didn't actually get much off the kill. A lot of damage. No blabber on the front. Gets a lot of them across, and Mike can throw down one for zero. Seed. We fought mid. We killed one of them, and they were still pressuring to seed. And then Niski based and said he could TB behind him. Damn is Zinu, he's gonna get Blank. first down, and Niski now coming in on the side. Five versus three, no way out easily for Apollo. They're Kales. bursting him, he just can't get out, but Kales. And like Lucian dashed into it, probably didn't see the TP. So we killed Lucian, and then I think that's actually where we debated doing Baron, but decided we yeah, couldn't. Could have detached and actually be Kales, Apollo out, but got a nine, do get a pick off a nice teleport in from Niski. And so I was calling to go for him. We were in bot river, so he just sent everyone down. Control of this dragon area. Ghost pop here oh. for Niski. He I wants Solo. Solo is. You're gonna scout him out. Now this team in the mini wave as well. Niski's keeping it running forward. They're gonna get him there. He what? eats the orange too early. He misplayed it. Solo, he's not gonna get away from this one. They've got the burst damage. The shutdown comes through. That is a, such a rough misplay. The Drake uh -oh. goes over and a fourth kill. Very, very That's fast. fine. That's gonna be cleanse forced out right there out of Phoenix losing some of his spell now has to get away from that one. That's Mikhail's finally being used. That's the reflex you needed out of him. And now the engage package separates the squad. Blabber trying to run away. He's slowed though. And a lot of damage and a gang flick now as well. Sneaky down to 600 HP. If they find the rockets, one more shot would do them in. They're gonna find Zazel the duck for Blabber gets Zonias. They should get a second kill now as well. Like a fox. Gotta feel comfortable now as Niski puts up the cage and runs away for dear life. We Five poked him for like two oh, seconds, then ran away. Contest, but then yeah. We weren't doing anything to them. Th there was no way to actually contest it straight up. Q, W, not enough. And nice timing there. Echo Fox pulled back and waited for the burst, then put the smite in. They grabbed the Baron. Very well played Baron play. Yeah, that is a really scary moment as a jungler. Uh, oh! <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, uh, rip bear buff. Onto this dragon, it could come down to this smite, but Cloud9 looking for Phoenix. Big damage there, saved up by Yumi though, gonna stay at half HP and now gonna continue to lifesteal. Kumo on the side, looking for Shock Blast here. Cloud9 trying to take advantage of the area. Half HP on Jace, looking at a lot of damage coming out from C9's side. Again, if Echox gets this, it's huge. Yeah, we had to immediately go 50-50, otherwise they get double elder. Yeah. So we were calling for that, and then we got that. This no stun coming out. 2900 health. They're not letting go. Here comes the play. Picked up by the Jarvan. Blabber makes the play, and one kills come out towards Sneaky though already. It's Blabber though who is low. Two kills in for Echo Fox. Five v three on the map. They can go over any objective they want. Yeah, mid lane. They're gonna find the kills. Down goes Zazel. Down goes Kubo. Or at least force back into the base. There's no way. Poke was a win condition.
so it was pretty much we had no choice but to run down mid and to match them. And our only way to actually win from that position is to hit binds or cage. But they had double QSS, cleanse, and crucible. And gangplank. Against the world, the second inhibitor falls though. GA about to be popped, and the respawn's just too long. It will be uh, echo. No, I think we just gave up a champ because we thought we could play into it, and then there was no win condition past like 25 minutes. It felt like. Yeah. Your play is actually incredible. We will win the game against CSM tomorrow. Oh, we're skinny dipping, of course. We always skinny dip. I've, I've never gone in the pool and not skinny dip. See you, Mr. Grayson. Bye bye, Maddie. You sure you don't want to go in the pool, Shooks? Yeah. Oh, big mistake. Alright, keep. We're playing Maddie's trying to throw us, so we're going to play TSU first. We're waiting for Maddie to leave to get in the pool. Give the girls some content. Come on. <laughs> I'm not just selling my body for content, Jack. Oh, you already have. I think it's it will be like insanely good for us if we can beat TSM. Yeah, I'm not sure if Kumo has played against Broken Blood before. So obviously it would be pretty funny to see how he matches up against like Broken Blade because I think a lot of top, top lanes have problems against Broken Blade. Mm, I mean, I don't really think about the matchup. Just whatever champion versus whatever champion and with whatever knowledge I have. Maybe Kumu's aggression can be different or something. Like, he's not scared of dying, so like, he might feed or he might just do pretty well. Oh my god, I look like oh my grandma! Oh my god! <laughs> I look like my grandma! Oh, it's, it's, it's another app, but it's you know what I wish? Oh! Oh, it's so good! <laughs> How old am I? Uh, 94. <laughs> 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 Mine is uh, old, uh, sexist, 94 year old grandpapa. <laughs> no, there's like young faces, like ma ma males and females. Like, so he's he's, he's hair is curly as well. There's <laughs> <laughs> a poor like grandpa. Bye. Bye. Hey. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, there's 10 C9 players tonight today. One. Only, only 80 players? Only 80 players? Almost at a level before. Almost at a level. Hi, let's win today. There is never O2 week for C9. One, two, three! C9! The latest chapter of TSM versus Cloud9 about to unfold. Yerkson on the mid lane rumble. Sven Scaring back in the game for Cloud9. Saw a poster in the crowd from Canada. Go C9. So, uh, hey, shout there out you to go. Someone making a trip down from Canada. That's pretty <laughs> hype. With Acadian nearby, Broken Blade felt confident to push up and make sure that he can play as aggressively as he needs to against Kumo here, not worried about being in a numbers disadvantage. Acadian will be found out in that scuttle pit, as now they're going to find some damage down onto Zazel. TSM in a good spot here at the start of the fight. That's first blood over to Broken Blade. Spin scaring in some trouble. Smoothie looking to put the last couple of licks onto him. A double kill over to Broken Blade. Niski gets over the wall. Transfusion's coming up, but damage is going down. And Sven gets him right through the heart. It was just a bad play from us, I think, to fight it. So they got the rift for free, but then Acadian trolled. He literally, he literally just rifted in front of Kumo. And then Aatrox just literally cancelled the, the rift. Blade now threatening the rave over here. Kumo though looking for him. Kumo finding the wombo combo damage, but Sneaky's now in some trouble. Goes into the stasis, Acadian's making the dive happen, and that's Sneaky's one kill going away of TSM. 
Smoothie tries to get himself away, but Zazel's able to mop him up. Cloud9 coming in, trying to find a second one here onto Acadian, but the Equalizer will burn Zazel to the ground. Yeah, man. Um, I'm really fighting bot. It was looking so close, and then the TP came in, and I was like, oh my lord, like I gotta move, you know? Clarkson's grabbing a kill on that one, but a big cataclysm's gonna trap TSM again. Cloud9 finds an answer, but Acadian finds Fanscaren. Niski makes his way on the back end of the fight towards Like, I had to commit, but I didn't have a ghost. <laughs> I had no items. <laughs> It was just a Vladimir running around, just sucking blood, you know? I just see Jace, like, the old 1 HP flashing out of my ult. Like, guys, this might be my angle here, I'm running at them. I don't even know if I had boots at that time. I don't know if it was, like, 10 minutes or not, but I was so slow, and then I don't know, they just ran. Damage, it does give you opportunities to constantly do things like starting up Baron, and oh my god, that... Zazel nearly gonna be taken down instantly. Cloud9 looking to start off the fight, and they're able to grab the shutdown onto Broken Blade, TSM! I mean, we were looking for fights, because we actually felt kind of strong. It kind of... Bring us back into the They use the game. a lot of flashes. They use like three flashes. So, off place yeah. the next time, it's just so much. So, we could make like a lot of plants out on the flashes, which was easy. Media all in fight, 100 to 0. Yep. Go right at him. And that's exactly what Sven Skaren recognized the opportunity to blow broken well, blade again. Up. And now Cloud9 will once again look to find that opportunity. Sneaky nearly taken down. Akkadian gonna be soaking up the damage. Sven's in some trouble. Sven Skaren looking to put the last couple of auto attacks onto him. Shut down for Cloud9. Smoothie's in some trouble too. And the C9 boys found two. And they're gonna start Baron. They're just gonna go for it here. Broken Blade is in the bottom lane here. Akkadian has no flash. They're TPing in. Bjergsen has Equalizer. The Baron Pit is a dangerous place to be. Sneaky's burning away and he will fall. Bjergsen's able to grab that kill, but now he will surely go down. Broken Blade trying to mop up Sinskaren. Not quite enough damage to find it. Akkadian's gonna take down one, but they'll trade one for it. Here, Niski does have flash, but Niski has no ult. Sneaky is not there yet. TSM demand an answer from Cloud9. I mean, they were trying to do Nash. I mean, at least I feel like we we really knew that they wanted the Nash, you know, because they had like a mountain. They had a mountain. And dragon. they needed Nash to win the game. Because they and just kind of I think our siege. tempo got fucked or something. I think we yeah. overstayed. And we literally all ran to Nash. I'm Nine. pretty sure. Baron at one quarter HP. Sven nearly killed again, but nearly's not going to be enough. Sven and then they were forcing it so hard. And then I, I got know. a clean EQ over the wall. They didn't see me. I got like Rumble and Varus some EQ. Yeah, and then they flashed off. I was also just going into. I mean, we're all just going in. Because if we all go in at the same time, they couldn't do much, I think. So. That crater, they're going to be there for a while. Kumo now eating the ulti, coming out from Akkadian. But see and then I remember that ge that fight. Rumble just flashed, ignited me in the fight. And then I, I literally just ignored Rumble. But C9 still able to disengage. Here comes Finn! Here comes the damage! We're going to ignore everybody else, like just go for those two carries yeah. because they're just super fed, so we basically have to kill them. Yeah, Kumo's looking to rampage forward. Sven gets caught out, and Kumo will slam him into the ground. Sven Skaren's there for the kill, and Bjergsen will stand until the last breath. But Sneaky will make sure he leaves in a body bag. It's C9 on the victory push. That could be it. C9. Uh, we thought we had an ending goal, but Sidoni kind of tanked the wave and then flashed off, which was fine. Cloud9 is moving over. They want to look to fight here. Sneaky healed up off the Grom. They started Nash, I believe. Like, Sneaky was, like, pretty scared. He yeah. was like, should we contest this or just give yeah, it, guys? I was like, and I was no, like, no. I, me and this game, I'm pretty sure we're just like, we have, we have to fight, to fight this. Yeah. We, we fight this fucking Baron. We don't just give Some it. trouble. That's going to be Baron secure beside the He's trading the Cloud9. He's able to find the fight. Sneaky's damage is monstrous. But Broken Blade's able to shut him down. The follow-up damage is there from Niski, and Smoothie will gobble up his teammate over the wall as Kumo And then Kumo smurfed. Yeah, when we played good. They get in the game here. They're going to TP for it. It's just Akkadian 1v2 again. It's all up to him, but Kumo so strong. Um, I mean, after we killed them all, I saw like 30 seconds, I think, on Varus, and I was like, okay, this is this has to be an ending goal because we had minions in their base. He's looking for the end. Akkadian has to hold this line. Kumo, the novice on the team, stepping up, taking the role of Licorice, as he and Niski will try to end this game. 10 seconds on Bjergsen and Sven. Nexus turret number two is down. World Ender is up. Cloud Nine continues the push. Nexus needs a couple more. And Cloud Nine takes the win.
think Niski played a lot better today rather than against Echo Fox. I don't know. I mean, today we had more of a plan and we just executed it. Yeah, yeah it felt like even though we were losing, we didn't like calm, yeah, yeah. we didn't like tilt, we just keep dying. So I think that was pretty helpful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.